Good Sunday afternoon to you, Mike here, the Fresh Rinse. And someone asked if I would do a video on my unloader tree, which is right here. The guy's name was Sim Simplivity57. Sim Simplify Simplicity57, something like that. Anyways. Um, yeah, thought I would do that. I've been uh, painting some of the rusty areas, actually using some rust converter. The only thing that has rusted on my rig is anything that I did myself. I welded my own ladder racks and all the racks for all the toolboxes, reels, machines, and stuff. All of that has a tendency to rust, but nothing on the actual trailer has rusted. That's not entirely true. Look at the tongue. One bad thing about powder coating is if it begins to peel anywhere, it will just continue to peel. So other than that, it's nice. Okay, let's talk about the unloader tree. So I like the 310s by General Pump. Um, I do have the K7 unloaders, but I didn't really enjoy them. Someone was telling me that the K1s work better than the K7s, but I just like to use the uh, pressure loaded uh, unloaders for everything and I'm just gonna stick with that. So here's what I've got. Um, I chose to have everything in the same spot because I like simplicity, I like the clean look. That's what I dig. And I also don't wanna have to climb over anything in order to um, change the pressure and up and down and whatnot. So I have these unloader blocks that you can get from Russ at Southside Equipment for a handful of dollars. And um, then everything runs off of a whip line. To answer a question that I'm sure someone's gonna ask, you can run a, uh, a plug and a quick connect off of your pumps. That's what I have done there, as you can see. So that's what I've got that set up. And then I have my gauges, which this one appears to be malfunctioning. This one goes to the 5.5. This one goes to the 8. No, 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 I got it backwards. This one goes to the 8, so I need to change that one. And this one goes to the 5, which runs right down through here like that. Someone is going to ask, well, what happens after the unloaders? Well, you see these two hoses here run nice and tight right along through here. And they fish themselves right under there and up through here, do you see it? Of course you do. And then right through here. And so when I get to my stop, all I have to do is unreel the hose that I need and then pop it right into here, start the machine, and I am ready to go. So yeah, I'll just kind of do a little walk through here and see if there's something there that you might see of interest that you had a particular question about. You might ask about my truck. Why is it half wrapped? Well, that's all I could afford, you know? Uh, one side says my pressure. The other side says Geeks! washing, you see. So if they do a walk around, then it's the same as having a full wrap. So there's no need to get the whole truck wrapped. Just get half the truck wrapped. And that's the way I think about business, so. I can't wait to start washing. I start washing this Wednesday, Lord willing. Um, we're supposed to get heavy rains, like two inches of rain over, over the next, actually tonight and then into Monday, and then extremely cold to, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So I hope to begin Wednesday, and I'm just scheduling two a day for the unforeseeable future. I think three on Friday, and then I'm just gonna go with two, two or three a day until it really warms up, and then we'll start to ramp it up with some heavier work. All right. Hey, I appreciate you watching. If you like this kind of video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell tab for further videos and to be alerted to future videos. And um, yeah, hey, I appreciate you very much. As always, don't forget everything you do. Make sure to have fun doing it. Mike, the Fresh Rinse, and I'm out.